Nepal's army has been taking this journey to a pristine glacial lake that sits in the shadow of Mount Everest for more than five years. It's about an hour ride from Kathmandu to Lake Imja, and the only way to get there is by helicopter, unless you want to walk for a few weeks. The beauty of the lake camouflages its danger. The glaciers around the lake are melting due to climate change and its level keeps rising. Unfortunately, like anywhere else in the world, the Everest and the Himalayas are affected by climate change. And climate change means that the glaciers are melting because while you have the peaceful mountain and these beautiful lakes, it's enough we have a shake of the crust of the earth, enough we have an avalanche for that lake to just burst out. Imja Lake has risen dramatically over the past several years and there are concerns the rising waters could lead to the lake bursting its banks. Worse yet, that a quake could trigger a flood resulting in the deaths of tens of thousands of people who live downstream. Down in Tadakoshi, that fear is not far from the minds of people. Fumu Yangzum was just a little girl then, but the memory is deeply <laughs> It has been decades since then, but the fear persists. At more than 5,000 meters above sea level, it is hard to see if any work is being done in this remote area. But for more than five years, a team of Nepali scientists, along with experts from the Army and UNDP, have installed sensors, built a drainage canal, and set up an early warning system to protect people living downstream. The slow draining of Lake Imja means the communities downstream are safe. But Imja is just one of 21 such lakes in Nepal, situated in the upper reaches of the Himalayas. Global warming continues to melt glaciers here, posing a threat to people who live close to the country's rivers. <laughs> <laughs> 